Everybody that's played a Soulsborne game knows this feeling. Oh, why? After going all the way through, that's how I go out and I lose 2,000 souls. That's how it happens. In this video, we're going to talk about the most important lesson that we could take away from playing Dark Souls. And who knows, maybe we'll have a little bit of fun while doing it. It's widely known at this point that the narrative of Dark Souls is about change and letting go of the past. Now, I'd argue that the gameplay of Dark Souls is about facing failure head on and hopefully eventually overcoming those failures. For a lot of combat heavy games, death is actually kind of rare, making it special and very memorable. In a lot of games, the most memorable part is the part that I died a lot in because of the new dimension of challenge that all of a sudden I'm facing. Let me give an example because I know that sounds kind of crazy because there's a whole bunch of video games where you die a lot, but what I'm talking about is something like God of War or God of War Ragnarok where you kind of can breeze through the game, not a lot of challenge, or at least I didn't have a lot up until something like the Valkyrie fights. And all of a sudden, I suck. That's why it's so memorable. And those are the type of games that I'm talking about. Dark Souls, however, is different. It will crush you over and over again without a second thought. So much so that the times where you are able to first try a boss, it's super memorable and almost a bragging right. Basically what I'm trying to get at is a lot of games you can kind of just mash through, not really understand how they work. Dark Souls is different. That being said, let's be real for a second. Dark Souls is just a game. Just like other games, it's a condensed experience and it was made for fun. You know what's not fun? Life. Just uh, making a little joke. Uh, just playing around a little bit. Hilarious jokes aside, life can be messy and it's easy to get lost or confused. And one harsh reality of life is failure. You will fail. Not just once, but countless times. Now, I know that might sound bad, but what defines a man's character more than how he handles failure? Or for the 2% of girls that watch my videos, what defines a woman's character? So let's talk about how Dark Souls teaches you how to embrace failure and keep moving forward. When Dark Souls was re-released, it came with the slogan, prepare to die. From very early on in Dark Souls, you are taught that you are going to die. For me personally, it took me an embarrassing amount of time to get from Firelink Shrine to the Tauros Demon. And you could say that I'm just a terrible gamer, but it does get my approval for being a pretty tough game. Moreover, Dark Souls doesn't just start hard. It keeps going. Each new area and boss offers a different challenge and level of difficulty, leaning to some being surprisingly easy and others halt your progression entirely. Which boss and side area that you find easy totally depends on what kind of player you are. And as a side note, I really enjoy this aspect of the game. I'm someone that loves to consume media, so I've seen a lot of Dark Souls playthroughs, and it's crazy what some people struggle with and also fly through. For example, I've watched a lot of Jeremiah 985's playthroughs of the Dark Souls series, and it is wild what bosses he'll get stuck on. It's happening! Like I said, I love how different everyone's experience with the game is. Also, from being somewhat of a YouTube addict, I know that it's very common for people to get humbled playing Soulsborne games even after already completing other installments. So all in all, while playing these games, not only will you fail, you will never stop. I promise this is a good thing, just trust me, keep watching the video. 
one thing that this enforces is consistency. And I don't mean this in the generic way of like going to the gym every day or something like that. Instead, I mean it in a much more practical way. Dark Souls consistently teaches you to get up and try again. I find this type of consistency much more important. In life, you will set goals. Goals that you will fall short of. Like the going to the gym thing I said earlier. At one point, you'll skip the gym for a day, a week, or maybe even an entire month. You failed. Dark Souls teaches you to try again despite failing the first time, or even the hundredth time. For you only become hollow when you stop playing the game. Life is the same. You can either let your failure of skipping the gym keep you from ever going back, or you can accept your failure and try again. Personally, I think you'll be happier if you try again. Another aspect of Dark Souls that I like is how it handles XP. If you die, the game will give you one chance to reclaim your XP and minimize your unfortunate failure. After that one chance, your XP is gone forever though. Similarly, in life when certain mistakes are made, a fast and thoughtful decision can repair the damage before any real harm is done. However, lingering on mistakes will do nothing for you. Personally, at times while playing through the Soulsborne games, I'll find myself in a loop reclaiming my souls in a hairy situation just to die over and over again. And it's only after I officially lose those souls forever that I can get past whatever was blocking my way. Dark Souls taught me that sometimes it's better to take a loss and try to learn from your failures rather than obsess over them. The difference between Dark Souls and real life is that we're never going to be the soul of Cinder. No matter our greatest failures or our greatest successes, life will go on. The bad news is you will fail, but the good news is you can learn from those failures and try again. We all know the melancholy feeling of beating an amazing game and realizing that it's over. Now if you find yourself in a spot where you're constantly failing, and that just means that your story is still going on and there's still room to grow, which is awesome. So pick yourself back up, maybe level up a little bit, grind, and try again. And I'm sure you'll get there. Good luck. Time for the most important part of the video. Um, honestly, I had a lot of fun making this one. It was, it felt a little cringy, maybe trying to inspire as hard as I was, but I think it was good. I just, I wish I was more natural at it. Also, I ended up having to buy Dark Souls 1 on the PS4, dropped a 40 bomb on that bad boy. We may do, I'm figuring it out. This is video number four of this like video essay saga that I'm doing. So hopefully we're still getting better. And if you like this video, you're gonna love that one.